All right, Lowe's, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's up, guys? Today, bringing you guys a tutorial on how to get a bigger back. Uh, so, key point that I want you guys to focus on when it comes to getting a bigger back is volume. So, what is volume? Volume is when you're working out and you're doing a certain amount of reps, a certain amount of sets. So, I want that volume to be as big as possible so I can get my back as big as possible, right? See how it's making sense over here? So, uh, what I mean by high, what is a high amount of number, right? So, if you're doing maybe around, you know, 30, 40 to 50 reps in your workout, pulling, like pulling exercises, as a beginner, it's probably good enough, but if you find yourself stuck in a plateau, that means that you're probably not doing enough reps, all right? So we're gonna walk over some exercises from beginner level all the way to advanced level, how to get a bigger back. The first one we're gonna do is gonna be inverted rows right here on the dip bar. So with inverted rows, you're gonna place your feet accordingly. The farther away your feet are away from you, the harder the exercise is gonna be. You pull it more close towards you, the easier it's gonna be. So I want you to aim right here from 10 to 15 reps minimum, right? Either you do a full range of motion or if you do a half range of motion, it's okay, right? The number one thing that matters is that volume, right? So you get a lot of reps in in a short amount of time, right? Right here, you're working your back a lot. So this is one of the beginner exercises for your back. So remember, volume, volume, volume. A lot of reps and a lot of reps and a lot of sets. So now let's move on to the pull-up bar. So, first one of the pull-up bar is gonna be the isometric holds. Isometric holds, try to focus at least five seconds at the top and then coming down another five seconds. So, right here, this exercise, what it's really gonna help you do is improve that performance right here when you're at the top of the pull-up bar. If you haven't noticed, when a lot of people do pull-ups, they can do pull-ups, pull themselves up about halfway, but then they have trouble getting that other halfway up, all right? So by training at the top of the pull-up bar right here for five seconds, when you start getting tired, it's gonna help you build that endurance so you can get over the bar fully, all right? So, next one, very, very simple, is just regular pull-ups, all right? Whether you do a full range of motion or have range of motion is okay. Yet again, focus. Volume, volume, volume. A lot of reps and a lot of reps. Full range of motion. Half range of motion. Or at the top, coming halfway down. Either way is fine. Just make sure you try to get a lot of reps in, okay? Uh, what else do we have? So last one we got is kind of going to be a little bit more for the advanced athletes. Uh, talking about the muscle up. So muscle up is one of the best, best, best back builders. It's actually, I think, my opinion, number one. Going up, big bar. Los, I'm sorry. Face me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so muscle up, great, great, great back builder. You're using your entire weight to pull yourself all the way up. Uh, you cannot do that in a uh, in a pull down machine, if that makes sense. You're gonna be forcing to work yourself 100% of the way over here. And then again, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to do them strict. You can kip. As long as you're progressing in those reps and sets, you're doing a higher amount of repetitions at a time, it's gonna help you build a bigger back, that volume. That volume is what I want you guys to focus on. Okay, good looking out, Los. Links to Los's YouTube page and Instagram will be in the description box. Make sure y'all subscribe to Los and follow him. More to come from my man, Los. Good looking out, Los.